Yo. Ooh, I'm a little out of tune. <coughs> Yo. Better. What's up, everybody? It's time to do 1718 Revolution Basketball. We're going to go ahead and do eight boxes of it. It's an inner case. Uh, break number 11. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get into that. WB, were you the proud owner of the Dolphins in that PYT? Because you fucking absolutely destroyed. Uh, Fitzy, I'll, I'll, I will be here, man. I will be here. And uh, I know you will, too, because you love me. All right, I need to grab these boxes. Are they in here? They are not. Here it is. Uh, Jeremy, yeah, that works. All right, let me open this up. does inception baseball come out anyway i feel like that's not out for a few more weeks let's see jeremy you want a leaf metal done and done put this to the side oh at the end of may gotcha i was gonna look at my cheat sheet but that's why i keep you around Good luck, everybody. Oh! All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's right. The uh, Well, I probably can't watch the Cavs game because it's on TNT. And I can't, I probably can't watch it on my phone. But I'll try. Oh! I, bro, you got a fucking love technology, boy. I tell you, boy. I tell you, boy. Fucking love me some technology. All right. Damn, the Cavs up 26 to 8. Or at least that's where I'm at. So I just started watching the game, but what's the, what's been the difference here? Just the Cavaliers playing with more energy or, or what? Who's watching the uh, the basketball game here? Cavs Pacers. I was thinking for a second the Pacers might just sweep these boys. At least uh, how they were looking in the game one, man. You can't watch the Pacers tonight? Oh, get the fuck out of here, Jeremy. You better watch the Pacers, dude. Come on, man. You got to watch your team, bro. Plus, LeBron is likely going to have to play the entire game, man. Oh, Ladipo got in foul trouble early. Gotcha. Yeah, Ladipo's been killing it. Pacers are Pacers are down by 16 right now. Yeah, 26 to 10 with about 4 minutes left. But in basketball, that's dude, that's nothing. A 16 point lead That's like 4 or 5 possessions right there. I don't know, Silverman. That the Cavs team is pretty terrible, to be honest with you. Aside from LeBron and Kevin Love, that Cavs team is just fucking terrible. Just it's a bunch of role players that, quite frankly, aren't even that good. All they gotta do is make their open shots. Which they're going to have with LeBron on the court. They need to start J.R. Smith. Yeah, J.R. Smith, could that, he, he might, make a, might make an impact. 
They should they should give the ball to Miles Turner some more, man. Miles Turner is a bully down on the block. And yeah, Indy Indy stole one already, which is what they need. Well, well what they needed to to give him a, a chance. You know, they got the home court advantage now, so they did what they had to do. They you know they got home court advantage. But damn, if they if they could somehow win this game. See, look, just like that, it's now a 12-point game. And it's been about a minute. There's 248. With four minutes left, it was a 16-point game. It's now a 12-point game. Tell me, mate, this this way I got this fucking basketball, bro. Especially in the playoffs, every possession counts. Every possession. And I, I just think the Cavaliers are way too old and they don't have enough pieces. To, to get them over the... They, they might lose in the first round. I don't think it's going to happen because it's fucking LeBron, but they might lose in the first round. What is LeBron's career high uh, in the playoffs? I want to say he, he dropped the 55 piece uh, back when he was with the Heat against the Celtics. That was game six back in 2013, I want to say. But yeah, LeBron's going to have to put up 50-something points if the, if the Cavs are going to have a shot at winning. You know, I, I just looked at the last, what, the last two minutes of the game here. And it's been straight two-man game with Kevin Love and LeBron James. You might be able to win a basketball game like that, but you're probably not going to win the series if you do that. The other players need to hit their open shots, man. The role players and all the people coming off the bench. And, oh... Pacers started 0-5. They've been 5-6. and six. So you get settled in in about a month. Nice. You got to buy like all types of furniture and all types of shit, man. Patriots need to get to the rim, man, because they, you know, the, the Cavaliers don't have any rim protection. And if LeBron is going to be taking jumpers all, all game like he's been doing since I've been watching, <laughs> I don't think the Cavs are going to win. LeBron needs to get to the rim. Oh, damn. At least you got your appliances in there. That's fucking awesome. Uh, oh, I hope that it's like insured or something. So you got to move your couches, TV, and all that stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Bias, but you think McMillan has an argument for coach of the year? I'm going to have to agree, man. Nate McMillan is a great coach. Yeah, I remember him back in his, uh, back in the, I think he was the coach for the Supersonics back in the day, and then he was the coach for the Blazers. Uh, pretty much anywhere Nate McMillan has gone, they, you know, he's, he's had some success. I think he won a championship as an assistant coach with the Spurs, or maybe it was the, the Warriors uh, a few years ago. I don't think Tristan Thompson's on the court right now, though. Nate McMillan's a great coach. He just he doesn't get that recognition. Uh, and I don't think he's going to get recognition for Coach of the Year simply because the Pacers are the Pacers. You know what I mean? They play in a small market, and unless they had, like, the best record in the NBA, nobody would really be paying attention to them. That's why people were surprised... When the Pacers beat the Cavaliers the way they did in Game 1. 
But all the place, all the Pacers players were like, "Well, shit, this ain't nothing new. That's what we've been doing it all year." Lance Stevenson's such a funny player. J.R. Smith is a fucking oh, J.R. Smith, man. LeBron has 20 of the Cavaliers' 33 points in the first quarter. LeBron's on pace for 80 points right now. Goddamn. I don't think LeBron's going to sit. LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. I saw DeRozan was balling last night. I think he had like 40-something points or something like that. Uh, am I going to do a dime, uh, filler for Diamond Kings? Yes, I am, uh, Francisco. He had 38 points. Yeah, he almost had 40. I just, I don't, I don't trust anything that the Raptors do at the end of the day. You know, nobody on that team, like, strikes fear in my heart. You know what I mean? Like, some teams, you look at them, and it's like, oh, shit, I don't want to play him because he's playing for him. You know what I mean? I look at the Raptors, and, yeah, they got a great, they got a good team. You know, they're deep. You know, they got really good role players. You got some youth to them. They got, they're athletic. But, but with all that being said, no player on that team is like, shit, I'm, I, I don't want to play the Pacers. And I've said it before and I've said it again. DeMar DeRozan is the worst superstar in the league. The man has to take 50 shots to get 30 points. But who knows? Maybe the Raptors uh, finally figured it out. And they can maybe they can uh, get to the conference final. Maybe the finals. Who knows? Who knows? You know, the East is wide open this year. There's not any one team that I that I see and it's like, oh shit, they, they are clearly the best team. Sergi Baca is soft as hell, bro. You you put you 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 get physical with Sergi Baca, he'll disappear. Uh OG Ananobi, he's a rough rider, man. I like I like OG. OG is nice. And the fact that he's getting minutes as a rookie, and he's defending the other team's best player, pff, that's awesome. Anyways, uh, enough of opening packs. Let's see what we got here. So we do have, you know, in this stuff, we're looking at the variations. So this is the Astro variation, I believe. It's on the back of the card. Jeff Teague, Timberwolves. Really hard to get autos in this. Tyler Lydon. That is the groove variation. That's what we're looking for in this the variations. I believe this is a fractal. Avery Bradley. Pistons. Astros, Zach Levine Bulls. A groove for Nicholas Batum Hornets. Carl Anthony Towns, Groovy, Timberwolves. Marco Foltz, Astro, Sixers. To 75, Brooke Lopez. What is this? I think this is the Sunburst variation. Yep. For the Lakers. Nothing there. All right. What do we have here? 
Lamarcus Aldridge, the impact variation. Watch that at the half, Pacers are going to be uh, either tied up or in the lead. Goran Dragic Astro for the Heat. Nikola Vucevic, Magic Groove. Damn, Larry Nance. That was a nasty block. Justin Jackson. Uh, Kings, Astro. Deion Waiters. Would be nice to have you in a Heat uniform right now. LaMarcus Aldridge, Fractal for the Spurs. Pagasol, Astro, Spurs. Spurs looking like they about to get Suze Wizard. Ben Simmons, Groovy. For the Sixers. Cavaliers making the jumpers right now. Trevor Ariza Rockets. That is a fractal. Yep. Alright, no auto yet. It's really tough to get autos in this stuff. Uh, in an inner case, we'll be lucky if we see one or two. DJ Wilson Astro Bucks. Gary Harris, Astro Nuggets. Lonzo Ball, Lakers Groovy. LeBron James, the Showstopper insert. It's pretty cool. Not numbered or nothing, though. To 100, the Cosmic Variation for Jonathan Isaac of the Magic. Cosmics are numbered to 100. Very nice. Brandon Ingram, Fractal Lakers. Chris Middleton, Astro Bucks. For the Warriors, Jordan Bell. Rookie autograph for the Warriors. It's a nice card. There you go. Warriors getting the auto. The Groovy, Brandon Ingram, Lakers. Tony Bradley, Jazz, Astro. Alright. Porzingis, Astro for the Knicks. Jeff Teague, Groove for the Timberwolves. Astro for Tyler Dorsey Hawks. The Impact Variation. Showstopper Kevin Durant. Warriors. Josh Jackson Groove for the Suns. Jason Tatum Fractal for the Celtics. This kid's been balling, man. Uh, the rarest variation on this is the Galactic. Wow, nice auto there for the Celtics, Gordon Hayward. Celtics are going to be a uh, force to be reckoned with next year when they get Kyrie and Gordon Hayward back, hopefully at full power. And right now the young boys are uh, getting experience and getting even better. Celtics are going to be nasty in the next few years. Nurkic for the Blazers. Astro, what the hell's going on with the Blazers, man? On to Takumpo with the liftoff insert for the books. Reason I put it in backwards like that, upside down, is so it doesn't move that much. Uh, we'll get it top loaded. I believe this is the cube. Cubic variation for Dwayne Bacon Hornets. I think these are to 50 or less. Yep. There's the cubic 50 for Dwayne Bacon Hornets. These are pretty rare. Very nice. The Galactic would be the case hit. Uh, Galactic is one per case. Let's see what we got here. It's an 11-point game. I'm, tell, man, I'm telling you, man, the Pacers the, the Pacers going to come with it. LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, impact for the Spurs. Dream on Green, Astro Warriors. 
Otto Porter Jr. Groove for the Wizards. Dude, I'm t that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying yesterday, Silverman. I was like, damn. If the Pelicans had Boogie, that team would be scary. Tyler Dorsey Hawks, Astro. Dream on Green. Impact Vortex insert. Wesley Matthews Astro for the Mavericks. Thomas Bryant grew for the Lakers. Gordon Hayward Fractal Celtics. D. Mitchell better win the Rookie of the Year, man. I wonder is he playing? I know he got got a little dinged up in Game One. I don't think are the are they playing tonight? The sunburst for Markel Fultz. That's number to seventy-five for the Sixers. Sixers coming down to Miami tomorrow. Game three. I wish I could go. That is young groove for the Pacers. Tony Bradley, Jazz, Astro. Damn, D. Mitch is questionable. That means he's gonna play. Ilya Sova, Hawks, Astro. Ilya Sova's been playing really good in this postseason. Revolutionary Shaquille O'Neal, impact variation for the uh, Lakers. John Wall, Groove, Wizards. It's a nine-point game, I'm trying to tell y'all. The Pacers ain't no joke. Jabari Parker, Fractal Bucks. Marcus Sol, Astro for the Grizz. Got two boxes left. Ola Depot, man. That guy's a stud. And just like that, it's a seven point game. <laughs> Cavaliers, y'all better take a timeout. Y'all are bleeding right now. Also, the Jazz do play today. Okay. JJ Reddick, Sixers Astro. This guy's dangerous. He need to lock him up. Watch. Pacers about to get a heat check right here. They about to shoot a three. Make it. Be down by four. Wide open. Damn, you, you got to make that, buddy. It was wide open, bro. Vince Carter. Uh, the Astro. For the Kings. Can't believe he's still playing. I forgot they got, uh, what's his name, Trevor Booker over there in the, with the Pacers. That guy's a dog, man. What do we have here? We got Ben Simmons for the Sixers, the Groove variation. Yeah, I like the Pacers, man. Pacers remind me of the, of the Heat, man. They fight, bro. They're scrappy. I like that. I like those kind of teams, teams that grind it out. That's kind of what we do on the, on the East Coast anyway. J.J. Redick, Sixers, impact variation. On the West Coast, they're more run and gun, up and down. Whereas in the East Coast, we're more grinded out, possession by possession. Shout out to Francisco. I see you, man. Sarek of the Sixers, the Astro. Uh, Nikola Vucevic, Groove for the Magic. Wizards, lift off for John Wall. You better be watching the game, Jeremy. Magic Johnson, the uh, impact for the Lakers. Another auto? Wow. That's extremely rare in an inner case. Three autos? Very nice. Dwayne Bacon, on-card auto for the Hornets. Hornets got some good talent coming up. They need to put that work in during the offseason, though. There's a lot of young talent right now, man. Tony Bradley, Astro for the Jazz. I was about to say, Jeremy, you can't call yourself a fan and you ain't watching, bro. And now the last box mojo. Are we going to see a Galactic or what? Marco Fultz, Astro Sixers. Porzingis, Astro Knicks. Terrence Ferguson, Thunder Groove. Tony Bradley, Jazz Fractal. Mm, that's pretty sweet. Showstopper for Markel Fultz. 
impact variation for the Sixers. Nurkic Blazers Astro. Eric Bledsoe Groove for the Bucks. Did y'all see what he said about uh <laughs> about J. Ru Holiday? Are you kidding me? Wow, what a hot inner case. Damn, Lonzo Ball on card auto. For the Lakers, damn, this was a really good inner case. Four autographs in an inner case? That's un I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's unheard of. Niceness. There you go, Lakers. That's sick. Marcus Saul, impact for the Grizz. And DeMar DeRozan, the lift off die cut for the Raptors. And that's going to do it. No Galactic in this inner case, unfortunately, which means it's in the other inner case. But damn, good autos in this stuff. Lonzo Ball, Lakers. Dwayne Bacon, Hornets. Gordon Hayward, Celtics. And Jordan Bell, Warriors. And that was the break. 2017-18 Revolution Basketball, 8-box break number 11. eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get